1630, the plague is ravishing the German village of Oberammergau. Looking for salvation, the desperate villagers reenact the passion of the Christ in return for God's mercy. They are saved and vow to perform the passion play every decade and they have kept their promise for 375 years. This tradition continues around the world, from the suburbs of America to the slums of Brazil. Now, a group of dedicated professionals battle time and the elements to stage one of the greatest stories ever told. It's 30 below in Drumheller. And the directors start their search for one of the most demanding roles in the Passion Play. But I tell you this so that you may be saved. John was like a lamp that burned bright and, and you chose for a time to enjoy his life. Just to be open, I think, is the challenge. The Jesus in this script is very sure of himself, that he's possessed of the truth. And he has given him authority to judge because he is the son of man. He's a man who can make speeches. He's not afraid to speak. When there's 50 Pharisees confronting him, he can stand up and he can speak his piece. Of course, maybe he's somewhat scared at times when, when, they, when he thinks that they're gonna take his life, but he can stand up and he can debate them. <laughs> Christ was a little rebellious. He, he bucked the system, the religious system that was. The father judges no one. And I'm trying to just make everything as clear as possible. I'm trying to muddy it up. <laughs> Hi. Do you wanna, can you be Levi again for me today? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Can you go get a microphone? Uh, yes, I can. 90% of my job is communicating. Basically, I'm writing down what's happening on stage. They're listening to me on walkie, and when I say go, they drop their arms, and the people magically appear out front. Do you not think that I will drink the cup of suffering my father has given me to drink. The Gospel of John is uh, interesting. We were discussing it with one, one night. I think the best way, I recall someone putting it, I, I enjoyed the way he put it, was it was written for the backsliding Christians of a new Christianity. Nail. Oh. Ah. Lift. Lift. Ah. Lift. All the way up. Lift! And then once that shape is there, then I, then we can get in and deal with the actor and sort of the emotional journey and, and actually the, how, how horrible crucifixion was. It doesn't feel like he's going to go through my ankles at all. In front of me. Yeah. Like, doesn't he have to go over, over, over his over head? His I mean, we... The whole body, there it yeah. is. Exactly. It's yeah. tough. The it's tough time because time. it's not in my heart. Get up! Started out beautifully sunny blue sky, finished with thunderstorms and lightning. It's been something. We haven't had snow yet, but it's coming. <laughs> God said to me, you will see the spirit come down and stay on a man. No, I have seen it. So we can do it, but you'd be without tabernacle booth. This is the fun part. This is the exciting part. This is the part that makes me not sleep at night. <laughs> With tornado warnings on the horizon and only one week until dress rehearsal, the production team scrambles. We're behind and we're trying to figure out a strategy on how to how to salvage it and get it together and have a have a show. 